Weighing a feathery 2,920 pounds, the appropriately named Jay Feather by Jayco, coming in on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We sold this to the one and only original owner. They uh, had kind of casual camping plans. They took it out to California to visit some family, and they used the heck out of this thing. They found themselves using it a great, great deal more than expected. And they said, you know what? As much as we're using it, we could je definitely justify uh, upgrading. They're swapping up to a, well, actually, that's their new camper in the background, a 287 uh, BHS bunkhouse J-Flight with a super slide here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So they were so happy with the Jayco family, so happy with the Halet family, that they stuck to both of those families for their next RV. And despite the fact that they use this thing a lot, like a lot, a lot, it is in darn nice shape. And it just really goes back to, people ask me all the time, you know, how long should you expect these RVs to last? The answer is not a question I can answer. The answer is, how well are you going to take care of it? Because just like this, these folks use this thing a ton. And uh, they took great care of it. And you don't see cabinet scars and blemishes. You don't see how the sofas are all broken down and busted down. The skin is clean and well kept. The roof is well maintained. If you take care of your things, your things will take care of you. It's just that simple. Um, so we've got, you know, this is only a seven foot wide body, by the way. This is a J-Feather 7, technically. Um, it is actually no longer in production. The J-Feather 7 series was ended in the latter half of uh, 2019 model year production, which makes me sad because I we, we found a lot of homes for these little 16 foot jobs. Now, we're staring at the side of the owner's new trailer, but the fact is that thing has a big dining window here for some excellent views and visibility, and there are pleated nightshades on all the windows. You might have noticed how this table is free-floating, so if you want to take it outside for a picnic, you can. You may also notice how the flooring is both carpetless and ventless. This is an easy cleaning little sucker, very, very pet-friendly as a result. It does have a five cubic foot combination fridge and freezer. There is a small freezer pocket in there. Uh, a model built for the basics. You know, that's absolutely what this is. This is a, a camper built for getting your family out and then, you know, going out. It's not really designed for staying in all day, every day. So very simple entertainment hookups above the uh, uh, refrigerator there. And they did use whatever space they could to give you as much cabinetry as they could. And I think the omission of an oven in a little camper like this really goes along well with that. Now, it does still have a full 13,500 BTU air conditioner. So uh, that big AC on this small of a camper, despite having the canvas, aka, well, air quote, canvas, because that's not really what they are, but it's still what we call them, bed ends, you know, blowing your cold air right out the sides, it'll keep up, you know, no sweat. Um, you know, you can see how the sink was cleaned and everything. Little extra nook and cranny of uh, cabinet space around the corner here. The fire extinguisher even looks good. You know, we check that kind of stuff here at Halet RV as well. The uh, bathroom is simple, but effective. It does what you need to do. You've got a corner shower. You do have a sink, so you don't have to wash your hands in the kitchen sink. you got a full medicine cabinet, shower surround panels, a skylight, and a vent fan. Again, all the basics. Everything you need, nothing you don't. All thriller, no filler. The exterior still looks just about the same today as it did when it was brand new. Everything looking pretty good here. You can see how the bed ends were not put away wet, so they're not going to mold or spot up on you or anything like that. All the things here look pretty darn sharp. That stuff is technically called Duratech. It's not canvas, it's not tent, but those are still the words we use for easy conversation with someone who maybe doesn't know the technical aspects of it. This does have a power tongue jack on the front to make getting hitched up or leveling your camper simple and easy. We do have four corner uh, stabilizer jacks. Sometimes when you get into a single axle, manufacturers will get super budget sensitive and they'll cut out those front jacks, but not here. The uh, wheels, aluminum wheels, and I mentioned that this thing had gone to California and back and they used it a lot. So one of the first things I said is, buddy, I'm going to look at those tires to make sure that they're not worn out and they're not unevenly worn because uh, sometimes people will either underinflate a tire or overinflate or they'll overload their camper. And none of that appears to be the case. There's no weather checking on these nice radials right here. There's no irregular wear patterns. And this is a galvanized steel wheel well in there so that, God forbid, you have a blowout, you catch some debris on the road, this thing's fine. I mean, it's in solid shape. Now, above that tire, you have both a black tank flush as well as an outside shower, which is very handy for things like, I don't know, 
cleaning fish or cleaning the kids or cleaning yourself off if you've been in the lake. You can walk all over the roof of this thing. I should have, you know what, I should have left the ladder out here when I was inspecting the roof uh, about an hour ago. Everything looks good. Uh, the uh, awning, power, push button, ease and simplicity. It does have LED lighting below. Now, uh, above the front bed were all the original owner's manuals as well as an outside TV bracket that can mount there. Plug your TV down just below. And that horizontal black bar right there, that is for a uh, outside grill if you choose to hook one up. Although, I do not see where there's one with this camper, nor was there one with it when it was brand new. So it's not like people were scavengers. Pretty open and shut case, guys. And what's cool, it's... Uh, young enough it can still qualify for same as new finance pending approval obviously so give us a ring take care stay safe have fun happy camping everyone